Welcome back guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today we're going to throw the Hopium at you, break the rules. Cardano, new all-time highs, we've hit $4 on the Aussie market. I don't often talk about the Aussie dollars because, I mean, no one uses the Aussie dollars in international markets, this is all about the US, but we've hit the 4 bucks. good stuff. Let's see if we can go for the $3 on the US. So we're going to be breaking some of the Hopium Free rules, but I do want to talk about investment pyramiding strategies for your portfolios so that we don't get wrecked at the tops and on the way down. So I'll show you that in just a moment as well. But we're going to update the charts and have a look at ADA, where we stand, some price projections, price targets. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you're staking your ADA with a staking pool, whether it's mine or someone else's, you've got the links to mine down below instructional video, click the links, the investor accelerator staking pool doing very well at the moment. So check that out down below. If you aren't staking, support the channel. I really appreciate that. Let's dive into it, but make sure you've hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Let's get this thing to 2000 likes. Do you like ADA at the moment? Don't you? Like it up for loving ADA in these prices. Dislike it if you want to see more of a dump on ADA. Let's see what we can do on this. All right, let's go across. I might regret that later. Let's have a look at market cap, 2.1 trillion. Cardano, 87 billion, $2.73. But if we take a look at the dollar value itself on Binance, we're sitting around 278. So that's just a total figure of all of the markets sitting around 273 at the moment. But the first thing I wanna have a look at is the dominance because this is just showing me where the money is getting drawn to. So we can look at the price and we do. We could look at, ADA versus Bitcoin, ADA versus Ethereum. Is it growing in strength? But where is it going in the overall market uh, market caps in all of the cryptocurrency space? Market cap of ADA, the dominance, is climbing $4.24. So it's, you know, we can see the price go up, but, you know, a lot of other projects are going up, but is more going into ADA than other projects. And is this climbing in the dominance space? And it sure is. We're just in the last few weeks, we've gone from 2 0.6% dominance to 4.24% dominance. The previous all-time high was around 4.92. So we're getting close to that. We'll keep an eye on it. You know what it's like in technical analysis, double tops are a thing. Let's see what happens to the, uh, the, the dominance should we get closer to this all-time high of 4.92. Maybe that's a point that we could look for potential resistance and just see whether we get some sort of correction coming soon. But for now, we've got some clear space ahead on the dominance. All right. But let's have a look at ADA USD at the moment. This is again, skyrocketing sky highs. We've seen a little correction so far at the time of this video. So maybe by the time you see it, hopefully we're at $3 on ADA. Oh, we're back down. We've got a some consolidation and good prices. But on the hourly chart, right? Just in the last few hours, we've seen this go crazy. And what happens when we see markets go absolutely bonkers? So this is like some of the highest volume we've seen. We've got one volume back here as it broke out. And previous to that, we had some of these high volumes at the previous tops. This is just a few days ago now, a week and a bit. Uh, more volume on the break. And if we zoom out again, big volume as we start to get closer to intermediate tops. This doesn't mean that the market is going to crash from here. It's just intermediate tops. Look at the the percentage. It's only nine or so percent. Just something to think about. And again, this is an hourly chart. So it could just be a matter of half a dozen, a dozen, two dozen hours. You know, it's not that big of a deal. But I'm just bringing attention to the craziness that we're seeing at the moment, especially across socials. It's all about huge news, big prices, all-time highs, Cardano this, Cardano that, that, okay? So this is the, the real FOMO time and you can see it in the chart just with the volume going absolutely nuts. How does that help you? Well, first of all, what are we seeing from here? Okay, hopefully we just get some sort of hold, some pullback. If we want lower prices, of course, we need the thing to crash. But at the moment, what the market is looking like it's doing is that it's broken above the all-time high, which was $2.51 tried it, it tested it just a few days ago, fell underneath, but then we broke above, retested it from the upper side. That's a good thing. And then we took off from that point. So because we've taken off so quickly, we could assume 
based on history that the market might take a, a few hours to cool off, just reset itself before it tries to push up again. The main thing we don't want to see for a healthy uh, move up in the market is just more and more exponential moves up. We want to see some healthy corrections like this. You know, it's, it's come back, tested old tops. That's the sort of thing we want to see, which gives us good re-entry positions in a market. Now for price targets, let's start with the big stuff and I'll come down to the small timeframes. The big stuff, four bucks and five bucks. Where did I get this pricing from? Basically the COVID crash low, which is around a cent and a half, 1.7 cents to the previous all-time high of $2.51, projected that entire range from the top. So that's the two up here, which is basically 100% of this range. Basically that to the ground, you take that, move it up. So from the top basically, and there's your 100% repeat. So five bucks. Other good thing about that is it's a nice round number. $2.50 is a nice round number. Double that, that looks good. The 161 brings us at $4, another nice round number. So we've got a few targets above. But in terms of a shorter term target, which we've looked at on the charts previously, and it worked out quite well, was this area from the absolute low. And that was what we were looking at for a uh, resistance at the all time high. So now we use this Fib extension, we measure the entire range. This took 57 weeks, a long, long time. Projected from the low, guess what? It came out almost dead on within three, three weeks, that entire range. So that's why we're using these, these levels to give us a projection of what we might see coming up. So basically we had a one week correction and then for one, two, three weeks, it almost hit dead onto the cent. That entire move, uh, it's crazy how fast the market can run. What took 57 weeks, literally took three weeks. So let's use that same theory, use the entire range this time, so up to $2.50. It's, a base, it's basically a $2.50 cent move projected from the correction low, which is 92 cents. So now we're going $2.50 above that. That's giving us a target of $3.41. All right, so that's the first short, medium term target. We've also got a shorter term target, but uh, for a major range that, that took 61 weeks and now we'll probably see it run in one, two, three, four, we're into our fifth week. Maybe we see it run for another couple of weeks, which would line up pretty well with the smart contracts coming out in about two to th about three weeks time. So that could really line us up pretty well for a nice 100% repeat. Now for the shorter term timeframes, shorter term timeframes, I'm going to use the correction low to the, the top here. This is the little bounce top. And so this is looking at again, 100% bang on 287. We've currently seen a high at 288. So this could just be a short term, could be hours, could be days. Maybe we get a consolidation above the old high. That's a good thing in between the 250 and 290. That would be ideal just to cool the market down for a little bit so that we can consolidate at these levels and then start to work its way up again. Because the last thing we want to see is this just go straight up unless you're planning for it to go straight up and then come straight back down because that's what happens when markets go straight up. Look at this into $2.50 back into 90 cents. Best case scenario is of course it goes straight up if you're already a holder and you get a situation like this happen where it goes straight up and we don't really get too much of a pullback. In this case, it was about 38%. So you probably consider that huge in traditional markets, but for crypto, 40% happens at the blink of an eye and then we're back to where we were. So 30, 40% corrections from here might be good buying opportunities considering what we have seen in the past. Now to Cardano ETH, we're still in an uptrend. The reason we're looking at this is to make sure that the other investments that we have are performing against the major assets out there, the, the Bitcoins and the Ethereums of the world because they are less risky because things are being built, they're being used, they're being invested in by large institutional money. And if we're going to risk our money, we want to make sure that, that it's actually doing better than those investments, okay? So those less risky investments. And so far it is. Cardano ETH up. Last week's data, beautiful. Crushed through this previous high. This other high, we're coming closer to the previous major highs that we've seen on ADA 
ETH. So this is all looking positive. Should we get a pullback? Nothing to be scared about. A nice healthy correction should bring us back to anywhere in that sort of zone. That would be lovely to see because we'd be testing the old tops again. And that's just a, makes for a healthy market. But if we keep pushing up, 50% is our next resistance up here. And we've seen that happen once before. Onto A to BTC, same deal. It's similar to the dollar chart. If we get a nice hold up here above the old all-time highs, that's a good sign as well. Just get that consolidation so that we don't go straight up, wait, and then down again. We just want to see that happen now and then stair-step our way into new highs because our previous all-time high on A to BTC happened back at the top in 2018 at uh, 8,800 Satoshi, so 8,800 Satoshis. We're currently at 5,600 Satoshis. So we still got a little way to go to get back to this old all-time high. It gives us about 50, 55%. That's a good margin uh, to keep going. And then ideally, we want to see this go further than Bitcoin and we don't want to see it pull back and break low. So that's a, that's a warning sign. We don't want to see it come back, take out these lows here. So we got through all the hopium. We have some targets up there, $3.40, four bucks, five bucks. They're looking good. Now, what we don't want to do is get wrecked. So these, this is how I look at pyramiding. This is not a pyramid. This is like a dollar cost average at a particular dollar price. This will get you 500 ADA, cost us $1,000, and the average price is about $2. The point that I'm making here is that you don't want to be loading up at the top, fueling all of that FOMO uh, and the, the greed at the top of the market just to watch it maybe correct against you and lose a lot more than what you can handle. You want to be buying these at the low. So you might be saying, well, what's the point? You know, the market's already up. The point is don't FOMO in. It might never see that price again, but you just don't know that. And if you want to make it in the market long term, having good risk management is going to help you. Money manage your portfolios and you're going to get there at the end of the day. It might just take a little bit longer, but start to look at the breakout trades like we saw at $1.50, the breakout. Sure, there were lows at a dollar, but there was also no sign that it couldn't have gone further. This is just the risk that comes in, uh, in investing and in trading. So this is buying it at every 50 cent on the way up. You can apply this to any other market that you have, any other crypto asset, whatever it is you're investing in. And this will give you an average price of two bucks. Now, uh, this is pyramiding bigger at the bottom, smaller at the top. So that's why I'm looking at it when it comes to the current price. And that is at $2.80. So if we do see a consolidation here, that might be grounds for a new base to form so that we can start to put a pyramid plan in. Ideally, you wanna have some areas that you could get out and not lose too much fun. So have an idea of where you need to sell out of this market uh, to cut your losses. Definitely do that before you get in. So the point here is this is a pyramid starting bigger at the bottom and ending smaller at the top. So maybe we're at 280. Maybe this is where the pyramid starts. We buy 200 here. And then as the market climbs to our next price target and we see a little correction, we buy 100. We see it climb. We get that correction at our next price target, another 100, 50 and 50 so that the average price is a lot lower than it is higher. That's how the, the figures work. And just do that in your own portfolio. 500 ADA in this case would cost us 825, giving us an average price of $1.65. So that you can see that we've bought it, uh, we've, we've been buying on the way up. There's even buying at $3 and we started down here. But our average price is now about here compared to the $2 mark, which is there. And as you'll see with the, the last example, which is the way most people will trade, well, most new investors, because the feeling here is that you're just testing the waters out and the market's pretty scary. I'll just buy a little bit. All right, the market's taken off. All right, I'll buy a little bit more. All right, now everyone's in. The excitement has started. You know it You know it yourself. The excitement really got hot as we broke through $1.50, $1.70, and then $2 because that was the halfway point at $1.90. Let's get more. Then $2.50 comes, which is the all-time high. Let's get more again. And this is the FOMO period now where it's it's starting to take off. Maybe we shoot to 4 bucks. We don't know for sure. But if we are laddering in heavy at the top and our average price is at 235 and that sets us up right here for failure so the market does not have to move very far from that three dollar zone so say we get our last buy-in at three bucks and it only has to go back 20 percent we know this market like we saw here can go back 40 percent pretty easily and that screws with your investor mindset right so 20 percent boom you are now in a loss even though 
you were buying at a dollar, a dollar fifty, and two dollars. That's the the critical part about investing. The two dollar mark is back here. If we just did a uh, hundred each way, so that's about a thirty percent loss. And then at a dollar sixty five, the market has to come all the way back forty four, forty five percent to get us at a uh, a break even price. So sorry, all those were break even. So dollar sixty five is the average price. So you can cop a 45% correction against you from that $3 mark and you're still going to be at an average price. That is a lot better than laddering in really heavy at the top and uh, just not putting enough in at the bottom. So the main lesson here is to restrict the FOMO, have a plan and write these numbers down for yourself. Do it in whichever way you need to. Say you're starting at 280, have your plan set up in that manner. Just know that it is a, much riskier to start now and just have an idea of where that get out point is in case you can't stomach a 50% or 60% drawdown against yourself. Have it written down, do some numbers so that you can visualize it and how it's going to work out for you long term if you plan to make this a long term career for yourself. Looking towards our $5 hopium target to wrap up the video, it's about 80% away. So it's 220, it's less than 100% now. That's getting a, a little bit dicey, but long term for this market, like I, I think Kadana's going to get into those double digits funny to say that in, into around that you know the ten dollar mark but it's yet to be seen let's see how it continues to react on the way up if you're enjoying the ada journey and you're finding some value from the content make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel stake your ada with the investor accelerator staking pool there are links down below and instructions on how to do that how to delegate your ada thank you very much to the guys who have I love hearing from you and I'm glad that you are finding ways to make passive income from your uh, tr uh, cryptocurrency investments. You can find me on Instagram and on Twitter, daily crypto updates and Q&As over there. The Investor Accelerator is on special. Link to that is down below. I'll see you guys at the next video after you've hit the like and subscribe buttons. But until then, have more fun to get more done.